Hey everyone, it's Meg from Creative Cove here. So today we're going to be diving deep into the world of Notion icons. So whilst icons might seem like a small detail in the grand scheme of things, trust me, they can make a massive difference. They can make your pages more aesthetic and they can also make your pages more recognizable, which means you can identify what you're looking for faster. So in this video, I'll be guiding you through how to use the built-in Notion icon options, showing you how to add custom icons using things like Canva, and also showing you how to set up default icons, which will save you a lot of time. Plus, I have a few other Notion tips that you may not know. So let's jump straight in. So the first thing I want to show you is how to use Notion's built-in icons. So when you create a new page in Notion, you can add an icon by simply hovering above the title and you'll see this little add icon button appear. So if I click that button, a random icon will be chosen as my icon. This is chosen from the emojis library, which is the first option here. I'm gonna run through each of these options for you now. So on the emojis tab, as you can see, you'll just have all of the emojis that you would normally find in any sort of emoji library. Mine has a few blank ones because I have an older version of Chrome. But as you can see, there are so many different emojis here to choose from. You can also use the search bar to find what you're looking for. So for example, I can type in heart and get a range of different heart emojis. Another feature that I love is this random button here. So if you can't decide on an icon, you can just click this button and it will pick a random emoji for you, as you can see. Another useful feature is the skin tone selector here. So if you click on this button, you can select your skin tone. So as you may or may not know, some of the emojis feature skin tone, so you can select the tone that is most appropriate for you. So this is useful because you can just pre-select the skin tone here. So every time that you input an emoji that features skin tone, it will just automatically add it with your skin tone. So it just saves you a bit of time. So I'm just gonna select this one. And if for example I just choose one of these hand emojis as you can see it just inputs it straight away with my skin tone. The next option is the icons tab so this is actually a native Notion feature so Notion have created this icon library they these icons tend to match Notion's aesthetic a little bit more than the emojis do and there is a lot of different options here for you to choose from as you can see. So you can also use the search bar here as well to search for something that you're looking for like this. Another thing that I really love about Notion's icon library is that you can select from a few different colors so if you just use this little button here with the circle this will allow you to select the color so you can have it ask you every time so if you switch this on when you click on one of these it will ask you which color you want to use if you want to just use the same color every time and you don't want to be asked every time you can switch this off and just select the color so let's say I want purple and I can then just select my purple emoji and it will be purple every single time so that's really useful so one thing I love about the colors here is that these match the colors that you'll find elsewhere in Ocean so if you've ever highlighted text or added select options in a database you'll notice that these are the exact same colors that you'll find elsewhere which is really cool again we have this random button so if you're struggling to decide on an icon you can just use the random button and it will pick one at random for you next I'm going to cover how to add custom icons into notion so back on this example I can now click on this custom button here and it will give me two different options I can either paste in a link to an image and submit it or I can upload a file so these are the different ways that you can add your own custom icons into notion so I'm going to start with the paste link option and then I'll show you how to upload custom images here. So there are actually a range of websites that will give you links to icons that you can simply just paste in here. It's really quick and easy to do. So I'm gonna show you one of those websites now. So this website is notioniconds.so. It's one of my favorite places to get custom unique Notion icons. So this is what the website looks like. I will leave a link to it in the description box below. It's completely free to use. So once you come on the website, you just want to click this explore icons button and this will bring you to the icon library. So in this side menu here, you'll see the different icons set so each different icon set has a slightly different style so if you want the styles to match you're best off using icons from the same set so this is the atlas set which I quite like they tend to look a little bit like this I also really like this tabla set as well and they look a little bit more like this but there are a range of different sets here that you can look through. So each set has a lot of icons. So this one, for example, has over 3000 icons just within this tabla set. So there is a lot of icons to choose from here. One thing that I really love about these icons is that you can completely customize the color. So the icons within Notion, you can only select from a few different colors. But if you click here, so you can actually use this color selector here to choose absolutely any color in the color wheel that you like, which I really love. You can also use this stroke width. So if you want to change how thick the strokes are within the icon, you can use this to make it thinner if you prefer or thicker it's really up to you you can really play around with this to make it perfect so as an example let's just pick this fishbone icon here so once you're happy with the look of the icon and the color you just want to hover over it and select this copy link button here and that will simply just copy the link to the icon to your clipboard back over in notion i'm just going to click on this icon again and select the custom option and i'm simply just going to paste in that link that i just copied and click submit 
If you just give it a couple of seconds, it will then load the image. And as you can see, it's just brought up the exact icon for me, which is really cool. So one other thing that I really love about Notion Icons.so is that you can check how the icons will look on dark mode. So if you click this little moon button here, it will change the screen to dark mode. So you can see how the icon will look on dark mode. If you regularly do use dark mode, then this is quite good because if you have quite a dark icon like this, as you can see, you can barely see the icon. So it's nice to be able to check how an icon will look on dark mode and light mode really easily. So you can actually also add GIFs or stickers as icons in Notion. It doesn't have to be a stationary image. It can be something that moves. So let me just show you how that would work. So this website here is giphy.com. This is where I usually get GIFs from. And this website is also completely free and I will link it below for you as well. So all you need to do is just come over here and type in something related to the GIF or sticker that you want. So I'm just gonna type in dog and hit enter. So this will then bring up a range of GIFs that you can choose from. As you can see, there's a lot of different options here. So you can use something like this as your icon. Sometimes I find that the GIFs like this don't look as good as icons, but the stickers option, which you can select from here, look a lot better as icons because they don't have a background. So they just tend to show up a little bit better. So I'm just gonna choose, for example, this one. So once you're happy with one, you just wanna click on this little link button here. And again, that will copy the link to the GIF or sticker to your clipboard. Then back over in Notion, I'm just gonna click on the icon, select custom, and again, paste in the link to that icon and click submit. And as you can see, it will then bring up the sticker or GIF as your icon. Uh, these animated icons are really cool because they do move and as you can see up here it does continue to move even if you're just linking to the page elsewhere it will always be an animated icon which is pretty cool. So another way that you can create custom icons is using Canva. Now this option will give you the most flexibility when it comes to customization. You can create pretty much anything you want. So I'm just going to briefly show you how to create something on Canva and then how you can upload it into Notion. So I do have the Canva Pro plan uh, but you can use Canva for free. They do have a free plan and you can still create some really cool things even with their free plan but just to let you know I do use the pro version so the first thing I'm going to do in the search bar here I'm just going to type in logo and just select this logo template here so this is mainly just for the sizing the size of the logo template works perfectly for notion icons so I'm going to select this one so this will then bring up a load of logo templates but I'm just going to click this create a blank logo option and this will then bring us to the editor here so what I'm going to do is click on this elements button in the side and in the search bar you can then type in something related to what you're looking for. So let's just say that I want an icon of a notebook. So I'm just going to type in notebook and hit enter. You then want to click on the graphics option and that will then bring you a huge library of pre-made graphics. You can pretty much find absolutely anything that you're looking for here. So I'm just gonna scroll down and find something that I like. So I actually ended up finding this cute little smiley face here, which I quite like. So I'm just gonna click on that one. So after you click on it, it will be added to your design. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on the icon here and I'm just gonna move it up into the corner. And then I'm just gonna pull on this corner just to make it bigger, just until it fits the entire page, as you can see. So once you're happy with the design, you can click on the share button up here and select download. Now I always download this as a PNG as it gives you the best quality possible, but you also want to make sure that you select this transparent background option. If you don't select this option, it will download with the white background in the back. But I just want the icon and not the white background. So I'm gonna select transparent background and hit download. So once you've downloaded the file from Canva, you can then click again on the icon, select custom and upload the file here. So you can either click on this button and select which file you want to upload or alternatively, you can just drag and drop it into this box. So I have it downloaded up here. So I'm just gonna drag and drop it into here and wait for it to upload. And there we go, it's now uploaded. And as you can see, that is now my custom icon, which is really cool. So you can actually upload any image that you want as an icon. So for example, if you find something that you like on Pinterest or Instagram or Google images or anything like that, you you can download the image and upload it here as your icon. It will work with absolutely any image. I just personally think the ones on Canva work the best as icons because they do look really nice. So next I'm gonna show you how to set icons as default in databases. So here we have just a quick little reading tracker that I've created. So as you can see, it's got the name of the book, the author, the status, so if I'm currently reading it or I've not started, the current page that I'm on, the total pages in the book, a progress bar to show how far along I am and just a rating out of 10. So one way that we can make this database look a little bit more aesthetic would be to add icons. So first I'm gonna show you how we can add an icon to each of these pages automatically. So first what we're gonna do is hover up here and you'll see this little new button here. So I'm gonna click on the arrow and select new template. That's gonna bring up this page. So what I'm gonna do is just click on the add icon button and choose an icon. So I think what I'm gonna go with is one of the icons from Notion's icon library. I'm gonna pick a blue color and let's just type in book because I think that would be appropriate for a book tracker. And I'm gonna select this one. So once you've chosen your icon and you're happy with it, I'm just gonna click on this back button here. 
and back on this page we're once again just going to hover up here and click on this down button and here is that icon that we've just added so this is the template so I'm just going to click on these three little dots here and choose set as default and I'm going to select for all views in the reading tracker so essentially what that's done is whenever I add a new row to this database it's going to add that icon as default so I'm not going to have to add it myself it's just automatically going to be added to anything new that I add now as these three things are already in the tracker it's not going to automatically add it so I will need to just open up these pages and select the template so I'm just going to do that for these three Okay, but now if I add another book to the tracker, this icon here will automatically be added. So I'm gonna click on the plus new button and let's just say that I'm reading Atomic Habits. I'm gonna hit enter. And as you can see, that icon has automatically been added. I haven't added it myself. It's just automatically being added because of that default template that we created, which is really cool. Another thing about databases that a lot of people don't know about is that you can actually change these icons here for the different properties in a database. And you can also change this icon up here on the tabs. So let's start by changing this tab here so let's just give it a new name I'm just going to call it reading tracker and I can actually click on this little box here and select from notions icon library so for the databases you can't choose emojis and you can't add custom icons which is a little bit annoying but you can pick from the icon library that notion has made themselves so I think for this one let's add another book so I'm going to type in book and I'm just going to add this bookmark icon here so as you can see that's now updated the icon up here so I think it does just look a little bit more customized now than it did before so as I said you can also change the icons on the properties as well so you can make Maybe pick something that is a bit more representative of what is being inputted into the column so what I'm gonna do is click on author and as you can see this little box here has the icon on it so if I click on there as you can see again it will bring up notions icon library so I think for this one I might change it to a pen and select this one I'll do the same for this one so I'm just gonna click on here select the little icon box and let's type in page and maybe select this one this one is a progress bar so I might just add some sort of graph like this one and this one is a rating so I think I'm going to change this one to a star so as you can see now that I've changed the icons this reading tracker looks a lot better it's a lot more customized and it's a little bit more intuitive as to what you're going to write in here so next I'm going to show you how you can add icons into headings so here's a few examples of some headings that I've created and as you can see I've added some icons into these so I'm going to show you now how you can do this so to create a heading like this one I'm going to type in forward slash and select a heading block so as you can see here there are three different options the only difference between these is the size so I'm going to go with the heading one which is the biggest heading option now the only types of icons that you can add into headings are emojis and to choose from the emoji library you can simply type in a colon like this and simply just start typing what type of emoji you're looking for so let's just say that I'm looking for a book because I'm gonna write the heading for my reading tracker so as you can see now I've inputted that it is bringing up all of the different book emojis that I can choose from so let's select this one as an example and as you can see it's now inputted that into the heading I can then just continue writing the heading so let's just say it was my reading tracker and I might just add another couple of spaces in here to make it look a little bit better. You can also add a backing as I have on here. So if you just click on here and select color, you can choose from the color of the text and you can also add a background color as well. So let's just go with yellow for this one. And if I really want to, I can also change the text color just by highlighting it and clicking on this little A button. And I might just go with yellow as well. So as you can see, that's now created a cute little heading for us. I might just also add another space just before the emoji, again, just to make it look a little bit better. So the other type of heading that I have here is these ones so these ones actually use the call out block rather than one of the heading blocks like these ones and with these types of headings you can actually choose from no notions icon library and you can also upload custom icons which is really cool as well so to create one of these I'm going to type in forward slash call out and select this call out block here which is going to generate this I can then type in the name of the headings so let's just say this one was the meal planner and I usually like to highlight this and bold it as well just so it stands out a little bit better now to add the icon you want to click here will just generate a random icon so you can click on here and it will bring up all of the same icon options that we saw earlier so you can pick any emoji that you like you can use notions icon library or you can upload a custom one with the different options that I showed you earlier in the video so I think just to keep it simple I'm just going to use notions icon library so let's pick a green one and let's maybe pick something like an apple so I'm going to select this apple here so again you can play around with the colors on this so I might just change the color of this as well to the same green color so as I said earlier one great thing about notions icons is that the colors of the icons match the different colors that you can have for the text so you'll get the exact same color every time so I'm gonna select green and as you can see now the name of the title and the actual icon match 
I'm also just gonna click on these six dots and add a color as well for the background. So I'm gonna click this green color here and it will just give a light green background, which creates quite a nice little heading. So I said, you can also add the custom icons in here. So if you found one on that Notion icons.so website that I showed you, or if you create one on Canva, you can add pretty much any type of icon in here, which I really love. And that's it. If you did find this video useful, then I'd really appreciate if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can also check out my pre-made Notion templates like this awesome reading tracker on my store. I'll leave the link in the description box below.